Hello. Another week ahead forecast this autumn where we're not really talking about anything cold. It's going to be mild, often windy, and certainly the first half of the week brings more rain thanks to this area of low pressure spiralling around that weather front, bringing bounds of heavy showers. However, come midweek, down to the south, high pressure moves in. Not across the UK, but near enough by Thursday and Friday to start to hold those weather fronts at bay. It means that central and eastern areas are looking a lot drier come the second half of the week. All the while, though, this week, the winds are coming up from the southwest, and if anything, actually shift more to the south by the time we get to Saturday. So it's going to be mild and, if anything, turning warmer as we head towards the weekend. Where's the cold air? That's all behind me and staying well away from the UK. So it is going to be a mild week and we start with temperatures a bit above average on Tuesday afternoon, 12 to 15, perhaps 16 Celsius in the sunny spells across the south. And there should be a few more sunny spells around on Tuesday compared to Monday. That's not to say it's going to be a fine day. Far from it. There's also going to be plenty of showers. Heavy in places, perhaps thundery showers. Initially focused across the west, but... Um, Nowhere immune from the showers by late morning and into the afternoon. Perhaps not too many over northern Scotland. Decent chance of some lengthy dry and bright spells here. And as I said, between the showers, there'll be a bit more brightness compared to Monday. But the showers will be fairly frequent across Wales, northwest England and southern Scotland. At times, they'll be heavy. When the sun does pop out between the downpours, as I said, it will be pretty mild. Now, that low pressure is still in control as we head into Wednesday, but a subtle shift in the isobars means the winds will be also shifting subtly come Wednesday. And that means a different distribution to where the showers are going to be. With the winds more coming in from the west, a better chance of eastern areas being a little bit drier. Again, there will be some sunny spells, but plenty of showers for Wales, uh, western parts of England, and across the Highlands and the Western Isles, probably more showers on Wednesday, whereas southern Scotland should be drier on Wednesday compared to Tuesday. And the same goes for Northern Ireland. Still a fairly brisk wind and still temperatures a couple of degrees above average, 12 to 15 Celsius. By the time we get to Thursday, that high is starting to build across the south. The low is still up to the northwest and the isobars are squeezing together. So it's going to get quite blustery, particularly in the far northwest. And close to these weather fronts, there will be outbreaks of rain. Some rain elsewhere, but nowhere near as many showers, I don't think, as compared to Wednesday and certainly for much of central England, eastern and southern England, most of the day on Thursday should be dry. It will be blustery but the winds coming up from the southwest bringing almost tropical air so temperatures in the teens not just for England and Wales but look at that across northern Scotland and Murray Firth 15, 16 Celsius is possible here. Those gusty winds will continue. The isobars very close together as we head into Friday. Again, that high pressure building closer to the UK. The weather front's kind of breaking up as they move in. Still bringing some rain at times to parts of Northern Ireland, certainly Western Scotland, but elsewhere, many places will have a dry day on Friday. Again, across much of East Wales, the Midlands, Eastern and Southern England, and where we see some sunshine temperatures with that southerly wind, 15, 16, 17 degrees. And then again, in Northern Scotland, as the winds come over the mountains, temperatures could easily get up to 15, 16 or 17. Celsius. Cooler in the far northwest with those weather fronts close by, bringing some outbreaks of rain. And again, it will be blustery on Friday too. Those weather fronts still breaking up as we head into the weekend. High pressure continuing to build over the near continent and that southerly wind making things really quite mild, it looks like, for the weekend. For more details on that, stay up to date with the forecast. It's going to be a mild week and getting milder, but there will be some strong winds and at times some heavy rain, certainly in the first half of the week. So just a reminder, are you weather ready? If you want some top tips on how to prepare for the severe weather, perhaps coming through the course of the winter, make sure you're weather ready. And the best way to do that, check out the Met Office website, metoffice.gov.uk forward slash weather ready.